have you been here? Fancy your finding nobody and being neglected and abandoned. Oh, what a love. <laughs> oh, you've brought someone with you. Introduce me. Hesione, is it possible that you don't know me? Oh, of course, I recognise your face quite well. Where have we met? Didn't Papa tell you I was here? Oh, this is really too much. Papa? Yes, Papa, our Papa, you unfeeling wretch. I'll go straight to a hotel. Oh, goodness gracious, goodness me. You don't mean to say that you are Addie. I certainly am Addie. And I don't think I can be so changed that you would not have recognised me if you had any real affection for me. What a lark. Do sit down. <gasps> oh, you do look a swell. You're much handsomer than you used to be. You've made the acquaintance of Ellie, of course. She's about to marry a perfect hog of a millionaire for the sake of her father, who is as poor as a church mouse. And you must help me to stop her. Hesione, please. The Pettikins? The man is coming here today with your father to begin persecuting you. Everybody will see the state of the case in ten minutes. So what's the use of making a secret of it? He's not a hog, Hesione. You don't know how wonderfully good he's been to my father and how deeply grateful I am to him. Oh, her father is a very remarkable man, Eddie. His name is Mazzini Dunn. Mazzini was the name of a celebrity of some kind who knew Ellie's grandparents. They were both poets. And when her father came into the world, Mazzini said, another soldier born for freedom. And he has been fighting for freedom in his quiet way ever since. That is why he is so poor. I am proud of his poverty. And so you should be, Pettikins. Why not leave him in it and marry someone you love? Hesione, are you going to kiss me or are you not? Well, what do you want to be kissed for? I don't want to be kissed, but I do want you to behave properly and decently. We are sisters. You ought to kiss me. Well, tomorrow morning, dear, before you make up. I hate the smell of powder. You unfeeling little 